I'll add one more portion here, USD slash INR, I'll take that figure is 50, which is actually going below 50 now, but we'll take, for an estimate purpose, we'll take a figure 50. Okay, so when I come out here, what I see, see students, if you have a look, you will see that your enterprise value as on 15 October is 272.77 billion. 272.77 billion. So that's the enterprise value which is given, but that's given. Yeah. So my entire this portion is in INR. I'll, I'll just, you know, merge in center and I put it INR. My enterprise value, they've given me 272.77. 272.272.22 billion. Uh, uh, market cap. Okay, market cap is not visible out here. Open side by side. BSCindia.com. So, website is BSC India, young friends. We are trying to take data on web websites. BSC website is taking a moment to open. I'll really appreciate if people can work with me so that can be clear for you to write here. Okay, so I can see the market cap out here is 25809. Please should have a look on your screen. 25809. The figure is in crore, so I have to add one more zero to convert it into million. So it's 258090. So the figure which I'll put here would be 258.090. So that's my market cap. My net debt would be enterprise value minus market cap. So that's my net debt. Now, if I go again out here, then I can see the financial highlight. My trailing 12 month revenue is 77.64. If you can see that, that's for 10.11, 77.64. If I can go again, can I see my EBITDA? Yes, EBITDA is 16.39, 16.39, and net profit is 11.57. Okay, and let's do one thing. Let's take a growth of. 15% on your revenue number. Okay, that's the growth in pharma industry. Dr. Reddy is growing much higher, but we'll take 15%. So that's my revenue for next year. Revenue for next year would be 15% on this. And EBITDA, I can calculate the EBITDA percentage out here, 21%. So similar would be my EBITDA percentage for this year into 21% and similar would be my EBITDA percentage for the next year. I'll put a portion out here with named as EBITDA. I'll put a portion out here called as uh, Let's do one thing, this EBITDA percentage, let's let's put it towards the end so that there should not be any confusion. EBITDA as in percentage and net profit percentage. See, students, there are two ways you can calculate this. You can surely go to a broker report, you can go to a broker report and you can see that what are the predicted figure for this particular years, okay, what's the forecast like and we can work on those figures. Uh, we are not having any broker report presently, so we will take a fixed percentage, that is my EBITDA is fixed as per 2010-11 figure. And so goes for my net profit, my net profit is fixed for 10-11 figure. So those are the two things we'll try to do. My net profit percentage, I'll try to calculate my net profit out here. 
I'll again try to calculate my net profit for third year. 15%. So this is the way my figures are looking. My actual and my forecasted number. I've got all my figures, figures out here. Equity value would be this value divided by 50 USD INA. Aggregate value would be and aggregate value, enterprise value are one in the same thing. AV by sales, that is my enterprise value divided by sales. Okay, I'll fix this. I'll fix this portion. That divided by sales revenue for the first year. I'll just move it on. AV by EBITDA. Again, I'll select this. I'll fix it. Divided by my by my EBITDA PE PE would be market cap divided by net profit market cap divided by net profit will give you your price earning ratio which is as good as MPS market price of per share divided by earning per share your long term growth rate would be the rate at which your profit your net profit is growing so that's the growth rate which I'll try to put out here okay so this price earning divided by long term growth rate I'll again hide this column number AH okay my sales growth rate from year 11 till year 13 I'll try to calculate from year 11 till year 13 I'll try to calculate so this is the simple compound interest formula A equal to P 1 plus R by 100 that's the formula which we're trying to put okay that's the simple formula which we've tried to put out here so 15 percent is my rate in which my revenue is growing here in this scenario even EBITDA is growing 15 percent because percentage I'm trying to keep same I'll just see how much my EPS is growing my EPS that is my net profit all these three are growing and 15 percent out here that's happening I'm hiding this portion as well this is happening because we have kept this percentage is the same. For example, if I would have changed my net profit out here, if I assume that here my net profit is better off by 5% more, 105%, and here it's better off by 3% extra because of better efficiency. So then this figure would entirely be different. So what I'll do, I'll mail this file to you people and what you people are supposed to do, you are supposed to build up in similar lines, you are supposed to fill up data for the rest of the companies. Just let me update this portion. So in similar way, you are supposed to do Glenmark, Dishman, Cadilla. I'm mailing the file, the updated version to you and then you people should carry on with the next one, two, three, four, five, six files. Now, uh, six companies. I'll, I'll surely do one more for you. But then rest, people should do it yourself.